Hey there everybody, it's Lance with Love to Hate back again with another unboxing video and this time I have from Funko Games, Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window, a game of deduction and suspense by Prospero Hall. This is a brand new game from Funko Games and uh, it is for ages 13 and up, 3 to 5 players and... Let's see if on the back here it does say 40 minutes. So let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you guys what's inside. On the back of the box here it says, What if you thought you saw a murder? Experience Alfred Hitchcock's masterpiece, Rear Window, in this game of deduction and suspense. Carefully observe strange clues and ominous patterns in the things going on in the apartments across the street. There are parties, knives, a saw bickering, laughing, music, and a mysterious trunk. Do you detect a murder? Or is the secret private world of the neighbors planting frightening ideas in your mind? Can you see the strange patterns? Was it murder? Or was your mind fooling you? Every game is a different mystery. All right, let's go ahead and see what is inside rear window here. This is a very heavy box, by the way. There has got to be a lot of content inside this thing. So here's our rule book, Player's Guide. This is pretty cool. Looks like an old school magazine, 25 cents. Grand Prix Disaster, photos by L.B. Jeffries. And you open this up. And this is thematic, by the way. You do see that in the movie. Uh, so there you go. Thematic elements tying in even with the rule book here. Pretty cool. And it's a very nice rule book. Not too long, so it shouldn't take too long to learn this game. It looks to be only 11 pages. You do have an FAQ in the back, and uh, that's always nice. And then there's an ad there for Pan Am, which is uh, a video that we have done. You can check out the uh, review video and playthrough video on, that we did on Pan Am a while back. We do have some cards here. Now, I believe these to be the different players that you can play as, such as, let's get into this. We have L.B. Jeffries, the main character. Stella McGaffrey. Detective Lieutenant Tom Doyle. And Lisa Fremont. Those are the Watchers. Now, everybody plays as the Watchers, except for one person who I believe plays as Alfred Hitchcock himself, if I understand this game correctly. And that character is uh, trying to communicate something to the Watchers uh, without talking, obviously, playing cards. Now, these are the cards, and... Uh, you have some artwork on the back of these cards. I'll show you. They're the blinds, the window blinds. And on the reverse side, you're going to see different things here, such as a handcuff case with uh, some artwork that may be some blood splatter, perhaps. A party is going on. A bedroom. Somebody at the piano there. So just different things on all of these cards here, trying to communicate to the other players what may be going on. And you're trying to figure out if there was a murder, and if so, what happened? So you have a lot of cards here, by the way. This has got to be somewhere around maybe 60 some odd cards, 60 or 70 cards. A lot of good artwork here. I don't think I've seen two cards that were exactly alike. That's pretty nice. And uh, the card quality, if you're wondering, they're decent cards. Not the best, but not the worst cards I've ever seen. So there you go. And they fit nicely in this well right here. Works great. Uh, the well does have a little cutout here to be able to get the cards out easily couple of uh, blocks. These are just your regular average black cubes. And we have a mysterious chest. It has nothing in it. So if you're wondering if I was about to spoil anything, don't worry, there's nothing in the chest. You don't have to worry. The chest does fit nicely right there. And then 
we have the board, I suppose. That's what this is uh, with some other things it looks like. So let's go ahead and get this opened. All right, so director Alfred Hitchcock. I suppose that is a board for that player. And then uh, you have some boards that uh, fold out day four. So these are going to be different days where you're playing different cards that I just showed you to the different windows, perhaps. Not 100% sure how this game plays out. Day three. Day two. Day one, and then the player screen for the director. Pretty cool, and it has an outline of playing a day, what you are to do. On the reverse side there, you get some beautiful artwork reminiscent of the set that the movie took place on, even with the guy sleeping on the balcony. And then you have the watchers and the different characters here. And that is the reverse side of their player screen. Very nice. Then we have a whole separate tray. And this tray is uh, does have a plastic covering topper on it, which is very nice. Uh, that is going to keep these tokens in place, I assume. As you can see, there's a slot there for all of them to go in. That's very nice. Uh, but these tokens here, let's go ahead and unwrap that. All right. so. Here are our punch out tokens, and uh, these come out just fine. No issues there. They're thick and durable. Do like the quality of these punch outs. You have one, two, three, four, five, and six different boards of punch outs. And uh, they're going to slot into these different spots here, like so. There you go. That's what is inside. And if uh, you were wondering, the bottom of the box does have uh, some printed graphics into it to match the theme of the game. Very nice. Everything here it looks really good. And that is Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window from Funko Games and Prospero Hall. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know what you think about this game and if you are excited to see more videos on it, such as a review video, where we will discuss how it plays with non-gamers because we are love to hate where we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. We'll catch you next time.